You love him on Food Network's Tournament of Champions, and he's here today to whip a tasty twist on a quesadilla pizza. Please welcome back Guy Fieri. Guy. So, right before we came on, right before we came on, we were all just talking about our diet and exercise routines, okay? The nerve. Okay, let's go. All right, what, do what we got? are we doing today? All right, we're going to make, so birria is one of the really mm -hmm. hot topics in Mexican yeah. food right yeah. now. It's been around forever, mm -hmm. and it's usually done with goat. We're okay. going to do, we're going to make birria, we're going to make it with chuck, okay. but we are going to take it and put it into a quesadilla pizza, oh. since it's a pizza theme, right? Yeah. And put this all together. So to get things started, let's have you start cutting this chuck into about two inch by two inch got cubes. It. Okay? Got it. And the okay. key to this is uh, the chuck is a great piece of meat. There's tons of flavor. Typically, it gets ground up. That's what you see a lot of burgers made from. Uh -huh. um, a lot of connective tissue, a lot of inner muscle pieces, but it'll get uh -huh. really tough. But we're going to go low and slow in the Dutch oven for a couple of hours. I'm watching him with this knife. He's, it's, I, it's he's doing great. I didn't know he had his own gloves. I thought he had a lease with an option to buy. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Is that, okay. is that No, you're, no, you're great. I mean, that, Keep going. isn't that too big? No, no, no. No, no, this is perfect. Yeah. Keep going, yeah. and then we'll just hit it with a little bit of salt. Keep, okay. keep going, give me a few more of those. Okay. All right, so while he's doing that, we're gonna heat, we're preheating this, hit a little okay. bit of oil. I'm a big Dutch oven fan, I'm a, I'm a pressure cooker fan. I think I that- I do too, I think everything should be cooked in a Dutch it's oven. It's these pieces, you know, and mm -hmm. a lot of people know it from a crock pot, but these pieces of meat that are that are really thick and really mm -hmm. tough, and this, this is what you would stew down, this is where all that great flavor comes from. Yeah. Okay, so we'll grab that. How's that looking? Pretty good, I, right? You're killing it, Look okay? So we'll put a little sear to it. Keep, uh, no, 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 no. Keep going. Yeah. Okay. Okay. As he does, oh, I was going to grab your tongs. Look at ah, you going right, so I'm rustic with yeah, that I'm hand. Gonna... You okay. know, I'm a real dude. <laughs> we give this a flip. We'll brown this. I don't. People sometimes want to put flour on their meat. I don't want to put. I don't no want to put no flour on no. the meat. No, because the thing is, is we want to create this caramelization yes. on the meat itself and not on the flour. That's okay. Right. Yeah. So as this browns off and we get a nice little flip to it. Okay. Yeah, it's nice. Now we're gonna start dumping. Okay. Dumping this. Celery, carrots. So we're gonna do perfect mirepoix. Mirepoix. You all right. Now we've got that. We've got some uh, toasted chilies. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. Spice. We'll take these out, open them up, okay. get take the, the seeds, seeds out. Yeah, exactly. We don't the know. seeds are making it a little spicy, no? No, uh, but It's the ribs. Ah, okay. we're, we're heading to Vegas next week. Oh. You, went, you went to school there, oh. right? My Did town. You and Jimmy Kimmel go to the same college. We went to the same, not at the same time. Not at the same time. We were just we having to talk same. about it yeah. at, at Super Bowl. Yeah, we both were. Uh, we're both UNLV, but we're both running rebels. Amazing. Okay, okay uh, that's my favorite chili. That's the Wajio chili. Let's grab cinnamon. We'll throw in a cinnamon. serrano chili. How or, much cinnamon do you want? About half of that. Okay. Like that. Yep. Okay. Now I know that this is your absolute favorite. The garlic. Oh, God. Uh, but we're going to use a little garlic powder from Great Flavor. I and do then, love garlic. Yes, it, it just does doesn't not love, love me. me. Mm -hmm. uh, raw garlic. Yep. Okay. okay. Mexican oregano. You want to grab that? Mexican oregano. Mexican oregano and Sicilian oregano are really floral, really have really big flavor to yeah. it. Yeah. Um, we've got the salt. Let's hit some tomatoes. Yep. Give it a stir. And the great thing about this is this is almost in the set it and forget it style yeah. where we can take this, throw the lid on it, pop it in the and oven for a couple it. of hours. Yeah. And then we'll hit some beef stock. This is my specialty. I love a anything I can yeah. make in advance, stuff in the oven and cook for the rest of the day. Exactly. Yep. And that's the whole idea behind this. And the great thing is, is this is so versatile mm -hmm. to start with that if you want, we didn't, I mean, we made it a little bit spicy, but if you didn't want to put the spice in there, you could take this meat. This would work for a whole week. Yeah. So we'll take that, we'll let it cook down, and then in a little bit, we'll come back, we'll shred it, and then we'll start to make the video okay. pizza. All right, All right we're going to do that. Guys. Of Tournament of Champions. Uh, so it's the sh very popular show on the Food Network. Um, so what happens? Everybody has the same ingredients and it then is. they have to. Have uh, the fact that my friends will call me after this show okay. because uh, the, the, the torture that they go through. So we have a thing called the randomizer. Okay. Five categories. The protein, the produce, the style of food, the equipment, and the whammy. So I spit it so no two competitions are ever the same. Nightmare. 32 of the greatest chefs in the world come to compete. They get 30 minutes to make the food. What's the whammy? What's, what's a whammy? Oh, give me, give me marshmallows. Oh, oh, boy. So, so we, give you, we give you Chuck. 
we give you, you know, a parsnips, and we say it's got to be silky. You've got to use a waffle maker. Oh yeah, and on top of it, you got to oh, include marshmallows. And so amazing. they have to take this and make an incredible dish, and then it's blind judging of the greatest chefs in the country are doing a blind judging, so they don't know who cooked. Right. It is, without a doubt, yeah, the most exciting. difficult culinary competition there is. Yeah. All right, no, what's next here? Besides, All right. besides this, so let me right show here, you this. what we're doing. So we took the fat, okay. and we took some of the oh, flavor that yeah. came out of this yeah. uh, braising pot, and now what we're going to do is just hit some of that birria fat right on there to cook this tortilla. I okay? see. We'll throw some cheese, some, some cheddar, and some jack cheese on top of this. So just shredded. Little cook, yep, a little shredded cheese, mm -hmm. okay? Take this out. Here's a little technique to do it, is take it, fold it. And dip it. And dip it. And this is when you go to the taquerias, when you're down in Mexico, or when you go to your yeah. favorite taco truck. Uh -huh. They're doing this when they're making these video tacos because that's where this, this cheese is kind of melting out of the side. And, and you took you. it right from the pot. Right from the pot. Well, we strained it. We strained it. Okay. Right. So that's all happened. Now what's going to happen is the quesadilla will cook. Okay. Right when I flip the quesadilla, I'm going to take a little more cheese and sprinkle it on the outside. I like and that. And this is what we call the cheese skirt. Now, we were seeing... <laughs> oh, really? But look at this thing. Okay? Uh -huh. Every Everything bit. should have a cheese skirt. I, I concur. I concur on that. All right. Now what we've got... This is where you get to get involved. Here's some of that, that uh, the beef that we have. Okay. We're going to shred that with the fork. Fork shred it. Or you can or, or hand shred it. You'd like to get in there with your hands. No, so just however you want to get shred. about it. So we've got the, the three different cheeses that are in there, the cheese skirt going around, mm -hmm. and then a nice little mm -hmm. variety of ingredients. So we can start Mark, you can pick some of that up and sure. eat it, or you can pick it up and start throwing it in <laughs> here. Like that? Perfect. Yes, Making exactly. It okay. Okay. Wow. So in, in the, you know, in the uh, celebration of pizza, but in the recognition of great quesadilla and bidia, we thought we would put the two of them. We, we have this in a bunch of my restaurants. Is I know you guys are going to Vegas, so. Yes, yeah. yeah. What yeah. should we do while we're there? Oh, what do you like to do? Gosh. What does Guy Fieri do in Vegas? Take me through it right now. It's, it's really nice being here. Show. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you what's going on in Vegas you right can now. Tell us. The food scene in Vegas is it's on crazy. fire. Yeah. And I know you guys are going to go. I, I know where you're going. I know what's being revealed. But the food scene is on fire. And I think you guys are going to the Fountain Blue. Mm -hmm. Yes. We which, are. Do you have an extra room? <laughs> because you can stay right with you can stay, you can stay with, us. with yeah. us. A little pico de gallo goes on top of this. Pico de gallo, beak of the rooster. So this is just fresh jalapenos, cilantro, uh, the Roma tomatoes, a little bit of onion. Okay. okay. Um, let's go with the cotija. Mm -hmm. We've got some of the uh, tortilla chips. Top. Yeah. A lot of times, what I use for garnish are things that we have already incorporated into the dish. Yeah. So using things like the cheese or using the tortillas, frying those again. I like cheese, so okay. I'm going. I'm going for it. Jalapenos. Yeah. Yeah. We'll decorate that a little bit. Throw yes. some of those tortillas on there. Yeah. And then last but not oh. least, we'll just throw... My gosh. A little bit of cilantro. cilantro. Well, this is okay. our fifth pizza pizza of the day. <laughs> and here you go. Oh, my gosh. What's what is that? that? That's the whammy? This is... Oh! <laughs> this is the lime... This is the lime crema. So a little bit of lime juice into some into some sour cream. And here's the piece de resistance. <laughs> what is that? Uh, well, we're not making drinks. It's not, it's not margaritas. This is the consomme. Now, the consomme, what's so beautiful about this is this is the liquid oh. that was left over from the braising that we took the fat out of. Okay. And then now... We take this, cut it, and, and, then and the, the piece is... Dunk that okay. little bit into it. Give it a full. Now, I know the whole thing with folding the pizza. You do whatever you want that okay. you can get this in your mouth. But this Bidia Taco Pizza Quesadilla Concoction. <laughs> huh? I didn't have to do it in 30 minutes, and it didn't come from the randomizer, but it is Tournament of Champions worthy. Be sure to catch Guy on the Food Network's Tournament of Champions this mm -hmm. Sunday at 8 p.m. And go to live at GaryMark.com for this delicious recipe and more.